Hello, hello, Aries. Welcome to your reading. Just got back from walking with Oliver. Yeah, that's you. You want up? Huh? You want to come? You want to come visit Aries? Okay, come here. Hurry. Ups. No. You going to eat? Okay, you go eat. All right, let's see what's going on for you. For those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you returning, thank you. I am an energy channel. As such, I read intuitively. <laughs> so some of what you see may not be traditional. I knew you wanted up here. Come on, get up. Yay! Good boy. Yeah, good boy. Yeah, we've been out into rain, haven't we? All right, so let's see what's going on for you. Roles can be reversed. Time is fluid. So even though I'm calling this July, this could resonate for any time. Um, if you'd like a personal reading rather than a general, that is down below. Um, make sure that you like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Okay, it helps out the channel. So you're sitting in your heart, almost like waiting for a sign that it's you're ready to move forward, that um, you are safe to move forward is what they are showing me. Um, and I think you've done a lot of really good work on your inner child, okay? So let's see what's going on here for you, all right? Justice, the star, and the eight of earth. Okay, again, for some of you, you're, you've really worked hard to balance things out. Almost like work life, sort of a balance, right? Um, really making sure that everything is aligned for yourself. For others of you, what you've been working for is about to get given to you, almost like a gift, almost like you have, um, like you've harmonized with it. Nine of Cups. So it is something that you have wanted and desired. So about this, we've got the Ace of Air in reverse, the Tower, the Eight of Cups, and the Six of Earth. So I do think that there's this energy that um, this is coming in almost like as a surprise, whether this is a surprise for you or someone else, I'm not sure, but this surprise really does work in your favor, okay? There's the uh, Knight of Earth. It's taken a while to get here. Okay, so let's get some clarification here. Tell me about justice. Again, could be dealing with, um, we've got Libra, we've got Earth signs, we've got Aquarius, uh, the Emperor. and the hermit okay there you are with um almost like somebody's watching you embody all of this um and i feel like you're role modeling for others it's almost like this is how we make things work this is how we make things balance out with the lovers okay so we're once we work into that balance we don't have all of those wounds. So you have worked through these very deep wounds that were really stabbing for you, right? Eight of Earth. We've got the Magician. Okay, Gemini energy there. Six of Cups. Okay, we've got Water Signs. Um, again, I feel like It's okay, Bubba. Um, it's almost like you're being able to give notice to something and say, okay, like I'm, I'm really ready for what I want to achieve. King of Wands. And you're protected in this. Okay, fire signs. It, they're showing that you are protected because of the work that you've done. The tower with the ace of air in reverse. Okay, somebody's being shocked here. Page of swords. Again, um, it's almost like 
they hear an inkling of it or you hear an inkling of it and then you're like, what? Okay, seven of pentacles. And this is going to cause this to have to, I feel like this is the other energy. It's going to cause them to have to do more work. All right, page of wands. And you're moving on to better things, right? You um, are signaling that you're ready to move on to these big, better things. Six of earth. There's the chariot. So everything is going to come in fast. Okay, we've got some Cancerian energy there. Um, two of swords. Again, unexpected. And the devil. Yeah, this was very unexpected. It was not expected to go in your way, right? It's not expected to go in your favor. And yet here it is going in your favor. Death. Because you've ended something. It may take a minute here, hanged man, um, for the new path, two of wands to show up. But you've done a lot of the hard work right here. And that's actually really wonderful, really healthy. Okay, so crafty. Again, you may be being seen in this as being like you were underhanded and you were crafty and this, you know, again, comes as a surprise, but um, I do feel like you weren't meaning it to be that way. You just, you know, if you outsmart someone, you just outsmart someone. Inner vision, because you've been looking very clearly at things and strength and you found what works for you. And as this, again, you're growing out of this slow process of healing and you've got support on your side. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> the mystery. And so, um, again, you're not really sure. I think at least for the next few weeks until the full moon, you're not really sure until you get past that full moon energy where you're actually going with this. But it feels like you have detached, right? And you're ready to be planted somewhere else. You just don't know where that is. Okay. The divine feminine. Okay. Emotionally, this is going to bring you a lot of abundance, a lot of fertility. And there's the moon again. Um, really saying again that you're not going to get past this quite as quickly. It's a couple of weeks, but this is almost like a, a knowing for you. You know that you're, again, waiting for a signal to be able to move forward to this. One more spirit. Thank you. Yeah, just breathe through this, okay? Um, you, Whatever you feel like you're drifting in, you're good with it because it's taking you to a destination. <coughs> destination. Someone needed to hear that. And you're good with that. That feels healthy. That feels secure. Okay. Yeah. Aquarius energy and Jupiter. So your wish for abundance is coming. And it is kind of showing up here to me as it's coming in um, maybe differently than you expected. Sorry, Spirit was showing me that some of the cards were um, not in the upright. And I do like this deck. I actually like all my decks to be in the upright when we start. Okay, if it reverses, then it reverses naturally. But this is showing me that it kind of, you took the long way around. Again, the lovers landing here on the lovers. This could lead you to a very uh, divine partnership, person, place, or thing. But again, you got to get past the full moon. When the new moon hits, then it's almost like the blinders come off. Um, fourth house energy there. So that's definitely talking about you're still kind of within this space. But it will show up for you in the way that you are hoping as well. It could just be talking about how um, a lot of this is taking place during cancer season. But there is a lot of cancer energy here. So you could just be dealing with a cancer 
again, the moon is important. So um, this is in the near future, you're going to see what you've manifested. Angel number 111. This has someone kind of freaking out. Their alarms are going off because when this happens for you, they feel like they missed an opportunity or they um, made the wrong decision. Again, the Capricorn moon energy here. There's a lot of options coming your way that it's almost like getting you out of a tricky situation. But again, death on the bottom, right? Scorpio energy. This is a, um, a shift now. They're saying be cautious over the next two weeks. Don't, almost don't show your hand, okay? You're right there, where are you going? What can you work on? Thank you, spirit. <laughs> okay. Roulette. You have planted seeds of karma in the past that may be blossoming now. I'm uncertain if this situation is ready or not, but I'm taking a leap of faith. So all the good deeds you've done, I feel like are coming back around for you, but you don't know what they're going to be yet, right? Um, you require an unknown in every alchemical process. We can only see the hints, so that's good, right? This unknown is a good thing for you. I feel what I'm seeking, but there's a great mystery of what it is, right? You're drifting to a destination, and that's okay. Let the unknown play out, and don't try to guess it, because this is a big transformation for you, okay? Oh, thank you, Spirit. What else here, Spirit? <laughs> Again, blessings are coming your way threefold. This is a completion of a cycle. And these blessings are coming your way. Could show up on the 30th. All right. Um, earth element stability. If you're dealing with an earth element they are coming in stable. They are coming into land or whatever, again, you've planted is coming in to land well for you. Venus, love. Um, for some of you, this is definitely a, an alignment of love showing up for you. It may just feel like a desire until it completely arrives. Um, Perhaps it's arriving within you first or not arriving until Leo season. But this is taking you to your north node. I do feel like we have to, you have to open your heart in Leo season to be open for it. And then the, it's almost like you have to return to a conversation from the past. Mercury retrograde reinvention to complete the process for some of you a mercury retrograde will be when you re, re kind of invigorate yourself okay so for those of you looking for love messages let's see if there's any love messages here in the your love is here deck my deck links are down below try again i won't resist you now the mirroring is just too much. That's lying on the lovers. For some of you, if you were dealing with um, a Gemini or a divine partnership in the past, the mirroring was too much, but they're ready now. Okay. They are seeing all the signs and synchronicities. I don't know how to cope with my feelings. The last time was not the last time. You are not wrong about me. I want to be with you, but I can't. One more spirit. Thank you. Let go of the reins. Again, let go of the trying to control this. Uh, I know that you probably in many ways don't know what to do now. Especially if you are um, trying to find certainty so that you can open yourself up to love. Open yourself up to possibilities in your life. Sorry about that, the mailman. But you do need that unknown, okay, of the great mystery to just come in without you controlling it. And that's part of the alchemy. So let's get some energy here for love. 
Thank you. Okay, again, the chariot. Um, you may not even know that there is something emotionally coming for you. And that could be the surprise. Again, because you haven't shown your hand, this could be the surprise to this person. Um, and the five of swords. Again, I feel like for some of you, something here feels like um, I made the wrong choice. And now I'm going to have to deal with my sorrows. And um, it's kind of like their head wants to explode a little bit because you didn't show any of this coming. And this is an unexpected storm for this person. Five of Cups and the King of Pentacles. I think as soon as you get through this, there is stability coming for you. For some of you, um, you may meet someone at work or through a job or through someone you know. But again, I almost get for some of you, this person has had their own ending. Um, they are showing me that they have been wearing death on their heart. So they've had something of their own. They are ready to plant some seeds. They are ready for something new. Eight of Swords, Spirit knows they're cutting you free from something. Ace of Pentacles, to be able to accept this new beginning. And there we have the Hierophant. So this is a higher spiritual connection, okay, with a lot of fire behind it. They want me to go in the middle, right? King of Wands. So this fires you up. Um, it lets you speak your truth. And there... Is something that I think you couldn't do in the past. Okay, they want one more. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, you will not see this coming, um, but it is coming. Three of Wands, Will of Fortune, and Death. But again, remember that this is coming from an ending and a release and past the moon so that you get to the sun into Leo season. I feel like for most of you, that's when it shows up. All right, so let's close it off with an oracle. If you've enjoyed this monthly spread, let me know down below, click on the like, hit the notification bell, so let me know you align. Okay, uh, yeah, Spirit says you're manifesting a whole new world. They just can't show it all to you yet, but it is coming into creation here. Your intuition knows it. Um, you're uncertain about it, but you're still moving forward, and that's a beautiful thing. All right, so I hope this helps you. I hope you guys have a very beautiful rest of the month. Don't forget to uh, connect with the channel so that you know when the next readings come out. This is for all placements, so if this doesn't resonate, check your other placements and make sure that you continue to come back and check that out or the collective readings. All right. Love you so much. Bye.